losers finals as we go through here i didn't get a chance to watch their winter side set but it was pretty close i'm assuming knuckleberry went with the akuma right yeah yeah it was actually like at first it looked like it was gonna be knuckleberry free like it went up 2-0 like pretty quick and then dabio just switched up the game brought it back to two but couldn't quite close it out at the end so i'll be i'll, I'll be curious if he uh can close it out this time he's definitely given uh, knuckleberry fist a run for its money at the end there yeah i mean if you're in dabio you kind of got the download there halfway through the set and so it could be something like that and if you're knuckleberry you're just trying to cling on for for dear life in that situation i wonder how much time you know knuckleberry you know was sent down to <clears throat> excuse me knuckleberry was sent down to losers fairly early compared to where the rest of the matches were right so we were barely done with uh What's before? Round what's one. before loser semis, losers quarters? Yeah. Where you know Knuckleberry had had finished losing to some casual, had some time to kind of look back and reflect on any of the sets that they had today. So right now you're already seeing that Knuckleberry is kind of dominating in this neutral. Had the back roundhouse, back roundhouse, back fierce into the juggle, right? Able to kind of control this neutral, keeping it slow and in their favor as Ndabi was kind of forced to back up here a little bit versus the, the V skill too. But the dive kick gonna hit, excuse me, in front off of the demon flip. And we're in the corner now. And it, excuse me, I have the hiccups all of a sudden. Is now just being dominated here. Gonna get the juggle here too on the crush. And now just guess for game situation. You get hit by anything that's gonna kill you. And another crush on the Fierce Fierce is going to wrap it up. Round number one for Knuckleberry, setting the tone for what could be the rest of the set here. Let's see what uh, Davio has to answer with. And a miss on the Demon Flip throw is going to be a great start to this round. And Davio can definitely make it work. Got the shimmy, but a, just a pixel too far out of range. And this is giving Knuckleberry the space to come back here, but missed the confirm. The forward roundhouse was a little bit too far for Mandabio on the confirm that Knuckleberry was going for him, but the counter hit is going to do good. Couldn't get the EXDP. It hit a little bit too early on the on the Tiger Knee, and now just trying to stay safe. You don't need to overcommit it on anything here. You can jump back. You can reset the spacing, but Knuckleberry is finding a way here. He has the will. He has the way. As he comes here, here's the big play. He baits out the DP. He gets the toss-up, and now it is a one-touch situation, but the back up the excuse me the walk forward walk back fireball had the activation to back it up too and it was just at the range to bait that fierce punch from knuckleberry from uh, downtown and so good start from this round you see spinning one bar you take out half of knuckleberry's life you get the next follow-up combo he's at a third of his life you get the stun combo oh and that's God. the perfect it's my goodness it got busted this is Sagat destroying wins. this poor little boy why does a zoner get to do, you know, 60% damage combos? Well, I mean, he's also fighting Akuma. Shh. I'm <laughs> trying to feel better about myself here, Sniffles. <laughs> I, I think Indabio's Saga is, like, pretty sick, actually. Like, don't let the the base diamond rank fool you. Oh, no. This fool is definitely grinding in some battle lines. Way better than the diamond reveals. Not showing too many weaknesses as well, right? Like, definitely has a very cohesive game plan and doesn't expose too many risks until you like it's, it's one of those things where like until you break like the the third or fourth game plan you're not going to see the cracks in in where they're playing and right now knuckleberry is the one that's kind of cracking first but able to find some good points here in this round one more touch for the sun jump back no it's going to be the wake up exdp getting away from the situation should have spent the EX there just to get the stun. You still have to deal with Ndabu here, but the low four is going to be able to close it out. And Knuckleberry again with the first round in a game. Let's see if he's able to close it out now. Or if Ndabu is going to have something to say here. We saw the quick turnaround that Ndabu had. It was a slow round in uh, game number one where round two kind of hit. And uh, Ndabu had a good start. And then it was a very quick round number three. But right now, Knuckleberry 
trying to establish dominance here early on, getting about a 50% life lead after sacking up the gray life, but side squid, you didn't check yourself before you wrecked yourself, and now you're in this corner, but gonna get the side swap, nothing fancy, just jump out, keep the pressure high here, you want Ndobio to start panicking, but the activation is gonna be able to slow it down, but Knuckleberry busting out on offense, it feels like, keeping this corner situation, but couldn't get the meaty and and Dabio just bust out makes this a tie game situation has full meter and that ties up the round count in game number two and Dabio is trying to take this in a full statement trying to 3-0 knuckleberry here knuckleberry is a very seasoned competitor here especially here baits out the dp knows that Dabio is trying to go for it a little bit too hard stays in front mixing him up again Tries to get the bait on the throw, but not coming. We're just going to keep it simple. Bait out the DPs. EX, no, one more time. Ooh, good tech on the throw. And Dabio not baiting for that, but getting tossed up again. Staying patient on wake up. Finding the spacing is going to avoid the stun here, but the, the hill to climb is very large. And we've seen that Ndabi was able to make these comebacks, especially with V-Trigger can end up doing 60 or 70% damage here on Akuma's life bar. But spins both of it. The V reversals out. And now... Davio's in a pretty difficult situation, but finds one touch. He can turn it to two. No, the V-Shift going to slow the game down just a little bit. Nothing on the minus two after the blocked V-Shift break. And now we're just back to this neutral. And the low catching and Davio trying to step back there. Did not want to be in range of the Stand Medium Kick or the Stand Fierce. But the Stand, stand excuse me, the Crouch MK is going to be able to take it. And we are moving backwards here. Knuckleberry ties it up one set. It's one set, one game apiece. Uh, keeping it, uh, you know, competitive. This is, I feel, a, a much better situation if you're in Dabio. You didn't want to go down two and be forced to make a 3-0 comeback. You'd rather it be a, a back and forth, right, counter adaptation to counter adaptation, give less time for Knuckleberry to uh, find a win in the final set. So if Dabio was able to win this and, and force a, a two to one situation, that would be the best scenario here. You know, Knuckleberry at that point has to take some risks in order to try to keep the lead, but instead the big jump's going to be coming out. And Davio hasn't been doing it much uh, in this set, so Knuckleberry's a little perplexed and trying to find a way to get in here, but Davio has just been setting up this wall. Perfect fireballs, perfect DPs. There's no way in right now for Knuckleberry down another round, and this time Davio taking a first round in the game. Proving kind of this dominance, the counter adaptation to the first kind of two games. Let's see if this uh, there's going to be anything from Knuckleberry here, if it's going to be the same thing. Look at this grounded neutral, but the crush counter going to be the start for Knuckleberry here. Got the corner controlled, cannot let Ndavio out, but the counter hit's going to be exactly what Ndavio needs. Oh my goodness, the V-shift and the jump forward beating out the roundhouse into the mix. Where are you going don't v shift away from me one more touch for the stun has to be a solid hit can't be a jump back jab but wake up back there's gonna be able to turn the situation into activation too but too far to get the rest of the confirmed needed to maybe go for the medium kick uh crash medium kick into a dp or uh, a fireball but man these big boy tiger can is gonna be able to seal the deal for ndabio's knuckleberry tries to walk out of the corner big old stop sign from ndabio is gonna say no as uh, and W takes two to go. That's how that rhymes finishes, I guess. But we're not <laughs> out of it yet. We still got a quick trip to game number four. But and W is looking kind of wild, wild right now. Round one. Yeah, I was a little worried one. there, where he was getting like his uh, defensive choices were getting kind of beat out there. He he brought that one back. Yeah, I mean, seven eleven past my bedtime. I was just thinking of more uh, gas station puns. Uh, <laughs> sorry, that one was really for us, but uh, we're, we're back here swinging in the neutral. Right, neither one really willing to uh, back down, neither one able to find something started here, but good bait on the Ki, able to uh, find Ndabio jumping there. Knuckleberry finally with his uh, life lead here, the crush into the big plus frames, finding another counter, but recognize he was a little bit uh, unsure about the uh, the medium kick range there, but had the back fierce, not able to get the DP juggle, and this could be the turnaround here. The dive kick is going to be able to get out of the way off of the EX Demon Flip, and it's back to Knuckleberry. Knuckleberry having this good situation for themselves gets the uh, Demon Flip Palm, but still has to deal 
with these Tiger Cannons. If one hits, it could have been big trouble. Block both of them out. Still has to watch out for an EXDP or an EX Fireball. Confirmed can still spell the death of him, but Knuckleberry right now keeping it kind of patient, as in Dabio was a little bit too patient. Was able to find the dash flow, dash flow, dash forward. Uh, because I can't say words anymore was Knuckleberry and uh, try to get closer to tying this up two to two but Indavio does not want that to happen he's going to jump out try to find the situation putting Knuckleberry in the corner but right back at you says Knuckleberry didn't get the full jump and punish but will take the EX fireball that is at least some damage for Knuckleberry as he stacks the damage up but Indavio is not out of it yet but in Knuckleberry is out of those mix-ups mile away but even from a mile away the step kick uh carrot cancel combos are going to be able to connect and under the ex oh no if you're knuckleberry you did not want that to happen and now you're in a dangerous situation and dabio sitting close to a v trigger activation but you're going to activate yours first but now you're at less life and then dabio has his but got the cross of i definitely thought that landed in front gonna be able to kill here boop 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 and still had the fireball afterwards there too and now it's two to two Look at this 2 2. We, we're here again. The cow goes moo moo. Oh. Sorry, I'm just saying rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, uh, you can work on your children's book, on, like off stream. <laughs> the cow goes moo. The duck goes quack. I don't know. You have kids. How does that book go? I feel like there's a whole thing where it's just like the dog goes bark. <clears throat> There's probably the like goes ribbit, ribbit. five thousand like variations on that. <laughs> the goat goes something. Or the sheep goes ba, not there the goat. Go. Anyway, what's going ba right now is uh, Knuckleberry's life bar. It's going ba ba ba. Ain't no lie, baby. <laughs> Shout out to Vince. Oh. Like oh, this is the confirmation. That could definitely spell some danger, but miss on the meaty situation. It's going to give an opportunity for Knuckleberry to start making this comeback a little more. Has this V-Trigger too, trying to get close enough in order to do something with it. No DP definitely had it stayed in the front. And uh, went for the dive kick too, so Ndabio staying crouching was actually kind of a benefit in disguise. But the big V-Trigger, excuse me, V-Skill enhanced uh, DP off of the V-Trigger activation is going to be able to... Basically put Knuckleberry at a terrible situation. The extra high fireball on Sakant's tall body is going to be probably almost minus double digits at that point. And uh, Ndavio moves up to, to match point. Let's see if Knuckleberry kind of has the juice left in the tank here. Or if it uh, all got used up when Kataji left. Oh. Right, we have slowed the match down if you're Knuckleberry. You were a little bit tired of Ndabio getting this big damage too quickly, but now you're back in this corner trying to block it all out, but you're just getting hit up on the dashboard, mix up the big old damage, and now we got the stun, and it's looking like it's done. As Ndabio gets the V skill charge up, and Knuckleberry almost mashed out the stun, but too bad you're already done. Maybe try on the next one. I don't know what this accent like, is, but I'm uh, kind of stuck in it because I've overcommitted to it. it so we're just going to talk it out. It started 